You know when you guys just get like a really good feeling about something you're about to do, aka for me in this case, this episode? I think it's gonna be a smashing time! <laughs> So just gonna, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, let's get this started. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. The non-VR edition and also the non-motion sickness edition. Now, before I even go ahead and say anything about what we're gonna be doing within this episode, I'm just looking at the build I did in VR and my God, this would have taken like three minutes in regular mode. <laughs> Lack of floor, ugly bed placement. And what no, the freak God, is please. this? If you guys didn't see the last episode though, we actually managed to finally find ourselves a horse and we tamed it. And he's also got that diamond dam up way before before I've even got it. For this episode, there's actually quite a lot I want to do, and I want to start by making a shovel before I forget, because I've forgotten to do that like six times already. Two sticks, followed up by one singular iron ingot. Perfect. Hey, buddy. Let me go ahead and pave you a small way out here. So I think now the horse can actually proceed and get out. Let me just check. Nope. I mean, he seems determined, but then gives up. Yeah, maybe the bed's in the way. Hold up a second. Give this like multiple layers. Maybe this is the solution right now. Hey, dude, come on. Let's go. Dude, come on. Let's go. How do I motivate him? Uh, how do I build a whip within this game? You know what I mean? Whoa, 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 whoa! What the heck? Uh, okay, so never mount a horse when he's near a wall because, uh... Dude, what the freak? I got down from my horse and I took another hit again? I'm just gonna break these two here. You know, another thing I'm starting to see is that the diamond pickaxe is starting to near the end of its life cycle, and I ain't about that, to be honest. I do think there are ways that we can actually rebuild that, and to be honest, I think I'm gonna now talk about what I wanna do for this episode. First of all, we already know that we found ourselves the end portal down here, and I'm wondering if I can actually maybe destroy it, or rather temporarily destroy it, and actually bring it back to the base where I'm staying. What's up? The freak. Look at that dude, Squidward 2.0. Hang on a sec. Hold up, I think that was one of the guys that was throwing stuff at me beforehand. Actually, give me a second. I don't think, did I close the door down here? Okay, we're good. Gotta keep the horse nice and safe, guys. All right, let's go over to him. So, buddy, friendly? <laughs> I've never actually gotten close to one. Okay, look at him, patrolling, acting non-suspect. Bro, I see that in your hand right there. Dude, the heck he's throwing potions at me, you see that? Oh my God, right, that's it. Dude, I'm taking hits right now. Stop it, come on, stop. The heck is he doing? I uh, what? I'm gulping crap down right now. Sit down. If you want to attack me, I'm going to have to do you in like that. What the heck? What did it drop right there? Let me just see. Okay, glowstone dust. Uh, amazing. And there's a dealer right here. Yeah, you saw nothing, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. Let's make a deal. Trades. Let me see. So, do I trade him? Uh, what? Okay, what is that? A bucket of puffer fish. Uh, give me a sec. Look, I'm thinking. Stop. Listen to these dudes haggling me down. Hang on. Look at that. Just like that dude, he goes in his merry old way. Why huh? see you giving me the You watch yourself, okay? By the way, did you like the video yet? Nope. Thank you. Listen, we'll leave my dude exactly to whatever he's got planned. For now, let's try and get the horse then out of this predicament. I feel like I've almost trapped him, you know? <laughs> The freak was that? We we'll knocked these out here. Maybe that's good enough. So, yo, come on, dude, let's go. Also, you guys were trying to give him all sorts of names. I had people saying he should be called Boozer. Someone also said this dude should be called Nugget, and I kind of think that, yep, that's what I'm gonna go for here. Nugget the horse. That's something I can work with if I'm honest right now. Ah, there we go. No damage taken. Let's see. Hey, we can get straight out. And. What do I keep getting hurt by stuff? I can't believe though I've got a horse and the speed you get on this thing is amazing. Look at him, feasting on the very grass within my house. One thing I think I need for definite is a rope of some kind. And whilst I'm not sure how we make that, I'm almost thinking we should traverse over into the jungle, which is really close by for two reasons. Number one, I've never checked out what's actually in a jungle at all within this game. And number two, I'm guessing that's where we can get some vines and vines probably make rope. Hey buddy, listen, you have fun in this house for a sec? Let's go and do a bit of exploring, guys. Okay, so I would imagine, chopper this a second. I so we can't collect anything from that. Okay. These dudes talking crap. Let me see. What about these ones here? You just simply destroy them. So it's more of something that's just in the way. So apparently in order to actually obtain a lead, which is what they're called within the game, we've got to try and find ourselves a slime from somewhere. And I think this isn't a forest or wait, have I been calling it that? I honestly can't even remember. If I've been calling this a swamp though, this is what we need to find. And it does look a bit marshy around here. Let's take a look then. Bunch in the water. Yo, any slimes nearby? Kind of need your assistance for something. Perfectly safe. Uh, you know, mind the sword. That has nothing to do with why I want to see you. Maybe there isn't any around here. You know, let me venture a little bit further in. Let's do this. All right, so yeah, no slimes found, but there is a lot of animals around here. And there's a lot of caves, it looks like. Hold up a second. Got some over there. And I think, yes! oh yeah, I definitely saw one right here. In that case, don't mind me if I go ahead and do a little bit of investigating. <laughs> okay, but jokes aside, let's play this safe. That's exactly why we're going to play this safe. You see the drop right there? Wait, is there no way we can actually get down this? So I think we got to make a jump for it and then really build our way up back from there. Right, there we go. Staircase in place. And of course, we'd have mobs galore down here. Okay, ready on the stairs. Let's get this done. Okay, that takes care 
care of the first one. Let's see. I've got a buddy here too. No problem. We can take care of you as well. Set the freak back down. Now, one thing I should have made is a few more torches. Crap. Let's start by getting some coal. I've got a few sticks, I think, so the more of these we can really get, the better, because I want to make some fire. Let's take a quick look down here then. Uh, I actually have no idea why I'm doing this. I guess uh, we're going to try and find some diamond for some reason. Yeah, buddy. You see any diamond down there? Uh, how about you go and check for me, okay? Let me know. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Woo! Close call, close call. But we are all good. Hello. Wait, hold up a second. The heck is that material down there? That's strange. Very different. Oh, it's like a spider. Whoa, bro, back off. Get the freak out of my way. What the heck have I just stumbled across? It's like a spider layer or something? Let me round the corner. It's a spider spawner. Okay, so we don't need to deal with that for now, so may as well barricade that up. Fool. Absolute fool. Freaking zombies down here, man. There's so many. Yeah, let me just light this area up. What? Down there, too? Get the heck out of here, man. Come on. This is descending down quite a lot, though, so come on, diamonds. Just show yourself. I'm going to find you one way or another. Some lava just here. Let's see. No diamonds. You know what gives? Should have found them by now. Oh, God. None of these little runner dudes. I hate these, man. Oh, thank goodness for that. They are literally the most annoying mobs within this game. Like, if you guys beg to dither, then who the freak are you? Yeah, guys, I think I've got conned on this occasion. This cave has absolutely nothing important. This is uh, really embarrassing, actually. Can't believe I fell victim to this. Check this way a little bit more. Oh, okay. Now, this descends quite far down. We got cobblestone. Uh, got a suspicion we may be just underneath the fortress right now. Also, where are the diamonds? I'm getting really frustrated. No diamonds, guys. No diamonds. Okay, so, so far, 35 minutes into recording, and we found absolutely nothing I wanted to do. So, that's really good. I hope you guys are really enjoying the series. <sighs> you know, it's always so nice when you're just playing this game as well. Then out pops one of the beautiful theme tunes. You know, you're like, you get stressed. You know, I didn't find any diamonds whatsoever, and I was getting really frustrated. Huh? Now this is just filling my ears. And you know what? Despite that, I had somewhat fun mining, so it's not all bad. How's it going, by the way, Nugget? All right, so I'm going to put the coal in there, and I'm also going to get some iron ore made in the meantime. Uh, you can wait here, by the way. I'm going to check out to see maybe if we can uh, take the thing I was talking about. Actually, bear with. I made a mini grow space. How's that coming along? Okay, we got some wheat right now. Let's go. One last one there. So we only got enough to make one single bread, but, you know, that's something at least. Nugget, can you get down from there? Thank you very much. I need to use that thing. All right, so let's make ourselves the single bread that we can. Listen, guys, it may not be much, but it is still something to say the least. Bro, bro, get off, get off, get off. What the freak? Nugget. I'm about to seriously put you back in the hole you came from. Get down. Thank you. This dude is going to kill me. Like, I've got half health right now. This is not good. Yeah, you messed up. You go ahead and learn your lesson. I think for now, I'm going to make two of the iron pickaxes because the diamond one is really close to breaking, and I don't really want that to happen. So we can mend that up soon enough. All right, so we have the pole just over here. I am thinking if we was to break this down, can we somehow, you know, get back the items we got before? Like, I don't want to go ahead and destroy this and then it doesn't give me the eye back, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm legitimately that nervous about breaking this thing and it not, like, I don't know, spawning back or maybe the block's, like, completely shattering. I can't do it. So in the comment section, guys, please let me know. Bro, do you want to go in the end portal right now? Do you want me to force you in? Hold up a second. Let me try and jump around the edges here. Will he actually fall in? Come on. Get him in. Dude. He didn't go in. Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, man, it was worth a try. Though, my health, I've only got three left. This is really not safe. Honestly, like, my health is completely trash. If I at least eat this, okay, it's something. My health isn't back, but it's at least closer than what it was before or something. Listen, I'm trying to find the positives in this pretty bad situation. I really do think we've got to make it back to base, though. Okay, so now comes the problem. How the freak do I get a lead for my horse right now, you know? I've really got to figure this situation out. Let me, uh, let me sleep on that one a second. I'm sure there's a solution to that. Also, shield right outside the window right there. So, one thing there's no way I'm risking right now is getting back on Nugget. If I do that, my head kind of glitches through the ceiling. So, you know, my head's got to be like this when I'm riding him. With three hearts left only, there ain't a single chance I'm going to do that. So, let me see. And, uh, yeah, desperate times may call for desperate measures, but not quite that desperate. Take this with me. Okay, that's a bit better. All right, I think, you know, I'm just about ready to go ahead and go back to base, but I still don't got a lead, as I keep saying. Nugget, can you fit inside of a boat right now. Only one way to find out, right? <laughs> this is going to be disastrous, man. I can already foresee it coming. We'll leave the building like so. Let me just check for resources. Okay, just some coal, which is definitely coming with me. I think, you know, everything in there can pretty much stay as is. Okay, let's go ahead and do this then. Woo, look at the speed you get riding this as well. First of all, we're going in the completely wrong direction, but we need to go this way here. So we may as well make a start in doing so. God, this feels good to be riding the horse, dude. Look how fast you can go, and no stamina is wasted in the process. Actually, um, you know, I'm kind of in a food shortage, right? Um... No, God, please, no! Wait, there's a slime right there! What the heck? It spawned straight outside my house? Hold up a second. Yo, dude, you go ahead and stay there for a second. 
I can't risk that. Do these guys damage you much? Because I really, really need that right now. Wait, he's coming over. They're aggressive. Okay, they're hostile, they're hostile, they're hostile. Right, let's do this, okay? Attack it. Okay. And again, it's a two shot. Whoa! What the? Dude, my health is so low. Oh, wait, they're still coming. They're still coming. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oof. Okay, we're gonna do this right now, guys. Here we go. Okay, check that one. Is there only a one shot? Just a sec. What the freak? They just keep dividing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Take him down. Take him down. Nice and quick. Nice and quick. They're literally so weak, though. So it's a one shot. No matter what I think with the charge. There we go. All that done. Woo! That's a decent amount of slime right there. Okay, check your recipes. Look, I will do very, very soon. Give me all that good stuff. So that's the rope we need, or rather the lead, as it's called. What the freak? Where is it? I can hear it. It's in my. Dude. You trying to claim ownership of what is already rightfully mine? Get the freak out of here, man. So first of all, we'll cook the meat. Yo, Nugget, don't go roaming like that. I can't lose you. I've only just found you like 11 episodes in. You know what? You go ahead and stand up here, all right? Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet undeath. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, health going straight back up. Okay, so the recipe then to get this lead. We've got more than enough, and we can actually make two straight away. With that done, we should be okay. And, you know, to risk mobs trying to take over my house again, yeah, listen, this is mine. We'll fix it when we get back here. Ah, not so bad after all, then. How about that? Tried searching for a slime, couldn't find it. The slime then eventually found me. And after all that excitement, I really gotta take a pee. <sighs> Look at the speed we're able to keep going with this thing. Oh man, this feels so good. Now, if I double tap, okay, you can't sprint, that's a shame. To be honest, it doesn't really matter. I think this is faster than like regular running. And also, obviously the stamina doesn't get drained as a result. So it really is a win-win everywhere you look at this. Okay, oh, my God. I hope you're good with the waters, my guy. Okay, seems okay. My horse can swim with me still riding on the back. Are you kidding me? Listen, guys, all these telltale signs of me just finding an absolute legendary horse, it's way too apparent by this point. Wait, hold up, there's like a charge here. <laughs> What the heck? So the horse can physically jump as well? There you go. Nicely done. So we're now back at the boat. And now if you keep doing that, I'm actually going to seriously get- So with the lead, let me see. I can rope it straight around the neck. Now, listen, guys. There's only one way we're getting back, and this might not look exactly pretty, but <laughs> we've got to do it. So hold on. If I hop in the boat right now and start, like, riding a little bit- Uh, hang on. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to work. Hang on. I swear there's a third person thing you can do here. Toggle perspective. Hey, look at that. So we can literally start sailing right now in third person. Oh my god. Nugget, listen. <laughs> it will be worth it. Just bear with, okay? My guys, listen. Seriously, he's really not happy about this. I've got to seriously figure this out once I get back. Oh, you press F5 again, and it actually toggles behind. So, okay, yeah, that really does not look too nice. But, you know, Diamond Armor at least getting a bit of a polish and clean as a result. Ah, look at that, man. Home looking absolutely perfect. So, I'm trying to think now, where should I let Nugget roam at least for now? I don't know if the dude will swim willing. So I might put him actually on the island where I'm gonna build the treehouse and stuff At least there's something to begin with for him Maybe that would be best because at least he won't go free roaming at least I think so anyway So with this in hand bring him on the land. Let's see what's good So with this how can I tie the horse to the tree or something like that? You know put up on there and then yo tie it to the tree So I may just leave him to do some free roam, you know let him I guess experience the land And I'm already getting some ideas of like a temporary accommodation so I can keep the horse happy We start by flattening this down a bit listen guys if you've got pet even in Minecraft, look after them, take care of them, make sure they got all the things they need. So here's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to flatten pretty much the whole of this land, and then I think what I might do is all around the edges, maybe place like hay or something like that, so it can grow through. Then that would be a nice touch, and we'll definitely get some hay bales here. Maybe for time's sake, I think I might just make a small start on that at least for the episode. There is a few things more that I want to do, like definitely, as I keep saying, enchant the items finally. Also, seriously, repair the diamond pickaxe. This thing cannot break, okay? If this breaks, so does my heart. Okay, let me go ahead and convert at least this row into where I'm gonna plant weeks for now. I really do think this is gonna be a really cool idea. Bro, back off. Seriously, I will start throwing hands. That's it, we're gonna throw hands then. Oh, you and your buddy, yeah, you think you got a chance? Yeah, seriously, don't count on it. The freak back. Yeah, that looks good to me. Stay the heck away from my horse. Right, let's go ahead and dig just a row of these crops for now. Okay, nice. And then we'll plant just a few over here. Listen, guys, it's a proof of concept for now. I have no idea how I'm gonna lay this thing out, but I think I might get these growing all around the edges, and then maybe I can try and add some fencing, get everything else looking nice. Could maybe even try and turn this into like an animal island, you know, some kind of sanctuary away from the monsters. Let's take a look at the crops. Okay, a few of them growing through, not quite all of them just yet, so we'll leave those. And the, uh, yeah, nether warts looking like nether warts. So this is where you can repair stuff. So if I put this guy right here, what do I need to repair it? Perhaps some diamonds? The diamond pickaxe there, and maybe one. Okay, that repairs it a little bit. Bruh. Yo, it's almost worth just making a new one, you know? Four to repair that one up. <sighs> Guys, as the day dawns, reality starts to strike. 
the pickaxe I once grew up with. I think he's already passed his expiry date. Listen, buddy, you will remain in the Hall of Fame next to everything else, but for now, I've got to move on. So yeah, I'll just, I'll build a new one. I don't know why that was so dramatic. Diamond pickaxe number two, let's get it. All right, so I think before I even start using this one, I may be going to enchant it or something. I believe there's a luck enchantment, so when you're actually farming different resources, you can start getting two of everyone, potentially at least, so we've got to look into that. So I think people were saying you put physically the item in there? And it gives us these different abilities, like Efficiency 2, Unbreaking 1. Yeah, so I think for now, I'm probably going to enchant to Efficiency 2. I don't really know what the difference is between level 2 and 3 here, because it's saying that one uses 9 and that one uses 16, but this one requires a bit more, so I'm just going to do it. This might be a stupid thing, guys, but look at that. I got myself now an enchanted pickaxe with efficiency 2. A first item ever enchanted with the enchantment table. I kind of want to mess around with this now. I assume it's going to mean that you can maybe mine stuff a little bit quicker. We have a mine just around this corner here. And as you can see, I did a little bit of investigating before learning there was a spawner down there. Yes! Oh, that's a lot quicker than usual. So we can really mine through stuff with this. Nice, nice. Something definitely worth noting. Now, I think the next thing I'm going to do then is start rebuilding a little bit more on the island over there. And I think I might get a few more animals if I can try and figure out how we do it. Let's make two hay bales then for the horse. That should be a nice start. Let's go ahead and set Dress's place just a little bit more. Here. Enjoy. Let's place one there for now and then we'll place another one here. You know, the more I look at this island, I think what I'm going to do is almost create like separate sectors for the different animals. So we could have like a horse pen over here. Then we could have sheep in this direction. Maybe in that case, it's worth expanding the island a little bit because otherwise we'd have to build like right into the base and also really close to the land. And I don't want the animals to get hurt in this, you know? Listen, some of these crops have grown through as well. Let's go ahead and at least use this thing once. That's a lot of potatoes right there. I see that yield. We planted all the potatoes as well. We got 37 from that yield. Again, that is a a lot of food, seriously. Whoa. I didn't realize I had that much food left over. Yep, so the food crisis isn't actually a food crisis at all. We are more than decent when it comes to this stuff. So feast away on some baked potatoes. Let's go. Okay, so I think for the remainder of this episode, I'm just going to keep working on this small island here. Like, the thing about this game is you have so many grand ideas in terms of what you want to do, but it all takes so much more time than what you actually think. It's crazy. I'm just going to, I think, level out for the most part the rest of this island, and I think then I might just call it there. Okay, now we finish up just the last of this. Dude, the efficiency now with the pickaxe is insane. Like, it actually knocks things down so much more quicker. Plop the boat in the water there. So, hmm, maybe I should keep it at this level. Uh, all I'll really have to do is just mine these blocks in the center and then just replace them with some dirt. Plant the last few right here. And that's about as much as we need to do for this, you know? I'm thinking then we could almost build the treehouse towards the center. And there's quite a lot of space, to be honest, to get some pens, even if we did want to have them here. So this might actually work out a little bit more than I thought. You know, this episode, though, was more about the prep as opposed to anything else. And, you know, actually, with that in mind, I'm going to get a sheep. Hold up, dude. I can deal with this. Yo, I don't even know who the freak you are. I just broke my ankles trying to get you back. Now you are definitely making the trip with me. Look at Nugget just staring by like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's unleash him. So I don't think these guys swim. I've never seen a cow swim at least, so this might keep him contained. Either way, he looks very confused. He doesn't understand what's going on. Looking back at me like, dude, I just went out to get some milk for the family. Well, first of all, you produce your own milk, so why do you even leave home? Second of all, tough. Don't care. Here, yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. Here, yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. Come on, bud. Watch the zombie. There you go. Come on. This is a safe island. Let's go. I want to learn more about mating in this game, you know, because that could be a really cool thing to do. And it's just nice to have a nice farm to the side. All right. We've got three new animals. Horse seems impatient. Pig looks confused. And yeah, he's really, really peeved off. Listen, it's invite only. You may be an animal, but get the heck away. Okay, guys. So it may not seem like it, but I have been playing for nearly two hours. This is decent, you know, humble beginnings. We're just getting the small thing. Adam and Eve, they were two people when this whole mess began. We can fix this whole thing. Please do let me know down below as well what you guys do want to see. Because I've never played Minecraft before. I kind of don't really know where to even start this thing. Like, is the exploring still fun for you guys while I'm just doing really the same thing over and over again? Or do you always want to see something different? If you guys let me know down below, we can figure this series out a little bit more as time goes on. But for this episode here, this is where we're going to leave things. If you guys did enjoy this episode of Nothing That's Happening, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.